Okay, I'm. I apologize. I'm not sure exactly why I thought we did page eighty-eight. Um. So yesterday's assignment was supposed to be today's assignment, but that's okay. So yesterday, you guys read a story. Um. Or you listened to a story. Look at us, and then you would fill. You filled out this um diagram right here. But today we're just working with the um working with the letters Y and Q and U. And so um. Like we have with the other pages, I want them to look at the picture, um, tell them what it, it, you know, have them tell you what it is first. Um, so I'll do number one for you, but this is a yak. Okay, before they just jump to Y, I want them to be able to tell you what sound do they hear, yeah, yak. What letter makes the yeah sound, then, have them point to the Y and then write the Y. It's gonna, what that does is it allows them to hear the sound and even without looking at the letter, they can now in their mind, if they hear ya, yeah, hopefully they're able to see the letter Y in their, in their mind. And then now they have the association with the letter Y here, they've got the picture, and now they have the word. And so it's all, all of it connects together. Um, but if they're just going to write the letter Y, um, they may not just know that that is um, where the sound comes from building those connections and those bridges between letter recognition, letter sound recognition, um, and being able to hear the letter sound and then knowing what letter it goes with. Um, qua is the Q-U, and um, we want to make sure um, that they understand the Q-U together goes qua. So fairly simple. Uh, Reader's Notebook Assignment.